Hey everyone, this is Frito Thakur, AJ Raisin, and I'm here with my kind of review of uh, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, and I will be going over the highlights because Warner Bros. ended up sending me a free screener for review. I watched, this, I watched it yesterday, and because it was a screener, I couldn't really record my reaction to it. So uh, the film ended up being available today on digital, so I bought it, and that, the digital copy that I bought is the one that I'll be using for this highlight video. Video. And I am working on a written review of this movie for the Geek Theory. The link to that will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up. It's it was so fun. The ending was predictable. I knew where the ending was going, but it was so fun. It's an R-rated movie. There's a whole lot of blood and gore. Superheroes die, villains die, and you know what? Let's just go over some of the highlights that I want to talk about. So the film opens with this, uh, I think this is a serenity prayer, uh, which is accept the things you cannot change, have the courage to change the things you can, and have the wisdom to know the difference. So this is what the movie opens with, and this does play into everything that happens in this animated film. So basically, Zatanna, John, and the rest are at uh, the leak station, and they're getting ready to basically attack Darkseid because that's Superman's plan. Prelude to war. So yeah. Darkseid aims to conquer the Earth and crush it under his heel. Superman is like before, Prelude he ends up attacking us. We need to go and put a stop Look, to this. I know the guy's a genocidal maniac, but are we sure those are his immediate plans or something he'll try in like a thousand years? These are images from worlds that Darkseid has conquered. Yeah. Yes. Superman is like now sent his elite guard and the Furies to act as an occupying force to thwart any resistance. Yeah, Superman is like we I need to go to in and destroy him. We are facing once and for all. Yeah, that's not happening. Here's how we do it. And basically, the main team will attack. Their plan ends up getting yeah, transmitted to Dark Side and. He is ready for the League, and this is where everything goes wrong. So the League is making its way to uh, Apocalypse, while the Teen Titans and the rest of the superheroes will be defending Earth. And the League is prepared to fight Parademons. However, however, Darkseed ended up uh, creating hybrid Parademons, which is basically a Parademon uh, spliced with uh, uh, Doomsday. And, yeah, the heroes lose. Look, look at that. At first I thought they were like Trigon influenced, because they do look like it. But it's uh, Doomsday and Parody. And this is how the movie starts. It lets you know that the plan didn't work out. Two years later, Earth is in ruins. There are still a few survivors left, but basically what uh, Darkseed wants to do is that he wants to transfer all of the resources and all of the molten lava from Earth to Apocalypse, and his next uh, plan is to go and destroy uh, the Guardians. He wants to go to Oa uh, so that he can have full control over the galaxy. John is of course drinking all of his guilt away because he feels guilt about not being able to help Zatanna during the war. And he is with uh, Etigran. Here we have uh, Superman and Raven. They have come to recruit uh, John Constantine because they have a plan. And of course John isn't into it. <laughs> yeah. Raven doesn't look well because She's going through stuff. So this is what happened with John Constantine. Zatanna was fighting. She got attacked by the Paradooms. And John really didn't do anything. And there's a reveal about why he couldn't. He just ran away. And that's all, that's the guilt that he still feels. Yeah. He doesn't know why he ran away. Darkseed is basically using uh, Batman on the Morbius chair, and he's using his mind. But it's Batman, you know that he is not fully in control of Darkseed. Because Raven isn't feeling well, they, they decided to go to John Constantine because they need, they need to find Damien. And so John Constantine uses this uh, okay. tracking spell, and now they need a way to go there. Yeah. 
ten hours, give or take. Oh, and everyone has to stay still while I. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, Raven's Azura, like, I'll do it, it even though she's very weak. And here's Damien, and Damien is like, listen to Superman. He has a plan. How long you got? And yeah. Basically, Superman has lost his powers because Darkseid ended up injecting Kryptonite into his blood and then he ended up uh, sending Superman to Earth so that he can live his life uh, live his life for a few more years and see how the Earth is being destroyed and he can't really do anything about it. So, of course, the Teen Titans ended up being killed by the para Dooms after the Justice League fell. Nightwing came in to help him, and yeah, yeah. So Damien ended up using uh, the Lazarus Pit to resurrect uh, Nightwing, and it didn't it didn't work out the way he wanted. So basically, uh, Raven and Superman want Damien to be part of the team because they feel that Damien will be able to reach out to Bruce Wayne and break Darkseid's hold on him. I'm all for Lewis being able to know how to have uh, battle someone hand to hand, but the fact that she's able to take down Harley Quinn, who is superpowered, she's had injections and other superpower stuff. Uh, injected into her. That didn't make sense to me. The plan is that uh, they need to attack the drills that uh, Darkseid is using to transfer the molten lava. And yeah. So when they uh, start attacking the drills, uh, Darkseid will send the paradooms, and while the paradooms are on Earth, Darkseid will be on Oa, and that's when the main team will strike. Uh, apocalypse. So apparently Lewis has this source that's feeding information to her so but the rest of the team is very scared or suspicious about it because they think that yeah sleeper is playing is playing Lewis and the rest. Because Lewis doesn't have a whole lot of people to attack the third drill John Constantine ends up uh, recruiting Swamp Thing. He tells Swamp Thing that if Darkseid is able to destroy the earth the green will be destroyed as well so you need to help us. Yeah. Just know that this thing here will be the death of your precious screen. The swan thing is like, yeah, I need to stop this drill. So Lex comes out. He's in his uh, mecha suit. I'm afraid you don't have the proper clearance. Uh, <laughs> and Damien goes in. He gets attacked. And Raven, who is, already, who is already losing control, she is like, yeah, no, just look at her, just look at this. <laughs> I love Raven so much. You. And Superman is like, Raven, stop. We need him. And it turns out that it was Lex Luthor who was feeding information to Lewis Lane, so he's the sleeper agent. Darkseid has been able to destroy the Overseers, he is destroying Oa, and only Jon Stewart is left alive, and Jon Stewart tries to go towards the main lantern uh, to get a power source, and yeah, everyone's dying, Darkseid is way too powerful. And actually show characters die, it's an R-rated movie. When I was watching this for the first time, I was like, come on, John, John, you can do this, John. But the molten lava has been transported here. And yeah, yeah, poor John. He's dead. So the main team is on Apocalypse and there's water here. So of course the Furies are going to attack the main team. Turns out that the Furies are basically their uh, uh, partners, the other superheroes. There's Mira. Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, and Starfire. And everyone is under the influence of Darkseid. Hogba is here as well, and Star, and of course Raven tries to break through to Starfire, but it doesn't work. And this is where Diana is able to kill Etty Grant, and so John Constantine has to think of a plan to take down Diana. And he ends up using the left of throat on Diana, which was smart thinking. And of course it works, and Diana will be keeping the rest of the Furies occupied while the remaining uh, survivors of the main team go and destroy the generator. 
So this is where they realized that the generator is using a flash on a treadmill to generate power and energy, so they have to save him. And he's like, uh-oh. So, yeah, just listen. He caused it. The flashpoint. Yeah, that's going to play into the plot. And Damien is able to help Bruce break free of uh, Dark Seed's uh, mind control because just because this moment ends up making uh, Bruce remember his own past with yeah and Bruce Bruce breaks free now and he is able to do what he can to stop Darkseid now and he injures da one of Darkseid's eyes but it doesn't necessarily work because he can still shoot lasers from it yeah and Damien yeah and of course uh, that breaks Raven because of Damien dying. And Raven is like, no. Raven is like, your your hold is, has weakened and I am free. John! He's coming! Do it now! She wants John to stop uh, her father from coming out. And John being John has this stupid idea about wanting to control Trigon and I was like John why would you do this why now I know that Trigon is far more powerful than Darkseed but you can't control Trigon and Trigon decides to go into Superman and when I watched this scene for the first time I was like what the heck I wasn't expecting it at all and just look of course, Dark Seed's done now because again, Dark, uh, Trigon is an actual god, you might say. But yeah, he kills Constantine. Dark Seed is just a pretender. I do like the character design of uh, Superman being possessed by Trigon. Not the Kryptonian. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, Dark Seed, you are done. That's it, can't fight Trigon, it's, it's impossible. The so called mutant gods. <laughs> I am unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> and Lewis is going to blow up the portal with, with the remaining survivors in there, the remaining fighting team. And her death is what uh, ends up uh, breaking through to uh, the Trigon possessed Superman. And yeah. Poor Clark. He's like Trigon, get out of my body. I'm not really sure where the clothes are appearing from, but yeah. And Darkseed is able to trap Trigon's essence in an arc. And now Superman and Darkseid are going to fight. Superman is angry. And you do not want Superman angry. So this is where we see that John is in heaven and he ends up meeting Zatanna. But he's not necessarily dead because he still has a role to play in Destiny. And this is also where we find out that it was Zatanna who ended up forcing John to leave during the fight. So it wasn't John's fault it, uh, because uh, Batman wanted John to be a contingency plan if everything went wrong. And Raven ends up uh, healing Damien and at first I was like, it feels like Raven is going to give her own soul in order to help uh, Damien survive. But you all as a Raven fan, what happened next when I was watching the screener, I literally screamed. Look at that. So here I was like, Raven is giving her own life to bring Damien back. Holy shit, he's alive. <laughs> How are you alive? It's magic. It even be a... But it turns out that Raven didn't give her life. She ended up turning into White Raven and I was like, oh, this is amazing. White Raven is extremely powerful. And here I was ready for Dark uh, White Raven to fight uh, Darkseed or do something. So John and Raven decide to release Trigon 
in his full power so that he can take care of Dark Seed. Because again, Dark Seed cannot fight Trigon. And Superman is losing because Superman can't fight Dark Seed. And Trigon is like, yep, I'm going to destroy you. And Superman is like, peace out, I'll go. <laughs> and now, new god, let's see who shall rule and who shall serve. And while these two are fighting and uh, the Paradoons are coming back to Apocalypse, Cyborg is going to create a portal to send the heroes back to Earth, and when they're done, he'll he'll end up transporting Apocalypse somewhere else. Not Apocalypse. He'll end up destroying Apocalypse, but he'll he'll end up uh, uh, teleporting Doomsday, uh, not Doomsday, Dark Seed someone else, somewhere else. Like is White Ribbon going to do something to help Cyborg because she can basically teleport to Earth whenever she wants? Yeah, Dark Seed is losing. He can't win. Bye bye. I really didn't like the fact that Raven said that even abusive parents love their children. I was like, Raven, that's not love. That felt like that entire Canis uh, and Gamora stuff. It's not love. And Darcy is like, no, I don't want to go. And Trigon is like, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, Darcy is done. And Apocalypse ends up uh, exploding. So, the threat is over. So, the survivors are on Earth. 31% uh, of the Earth's molten core is gone. And that means that at least a billion more people are going to die. And this is where John Constantine has this idea, which was very predictable for me when I was watching this movie. Constantine is like, Yeah, you need to start another flashpoint. We need a restart. And it, did, it didn't make any sense to me. Like, if you start a flashpoint, Dark Seed is still going to come back. Isn't this still going to happen all over again? So why even bother? Why not try to teleport the remaining survivors to some other planet? It's not like the Justice League don't know about any planets that they can live in that isn't Earth. So it didn't make sense to me, the ending. So the movie ends with Flash creating another Flashpoint and Raven and Damien kissing. But again, again, a restart would mean that Darkseid is going to come back, more people are going to die again, and yeah, the ending, the ending, I didn't like the ending. The ending was weak, as far as my opinion goes. That was my uh, recap, kind of highlight, kind of review of Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. If you guys were a bit unsure about watching it, I, I urge you to watch it. It's an amazing, amazing movie. Uh, the action sequences are good. As a Raven fan, I really love this movie. Even John Constantine fans are going to love this movie. But yeah, again, I will be doing a written review of this for the Geek Theory. The link to that will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up. Let me know if you guys have watched it, what you thought about it, what do you think about the ending. And let's see what other animated connected universe that uh, Warner Bros. will create after the new Flashpoint gave a reboot to this one. So yeah, until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.